what is good for the SEC isn't necessarily good for all of college football. SEC expansion, we love it just because of the super conference idea. But as we peel back the layers, Chad, you asked a great question earlier this week in a, in a text. Is it saving or ruining college football? It's not just about football, but it is. And the future of the sport, what does the SEC expansion, because we both agree they're not, we don't think they're stopping at 16. Where's the sport headed in the grand scheme of things? First, I want to clarify something. You love it. I don't. Oh, you don't love it. I don't love it. I love it for two separate things. I love it for the SEC. Okay. It's great for the SEC's business model. It's perfect, and it's a no-brainer move for the SEC. I don't love the move, though. I know you love the move, Hutton, coming from more of that NFL perspective to have the Super Conference, which the NFL is one big Super Conference, right? Mm -hmm. So you're getting closer to that in college football. I understand that. I don't love it because... What is good for the SEC isn't necessarily good for all of college football. And now you're hearing a lot of this from every other conference. One of the things I love about college football is regionalism. I love that you can get into a heated debate with your in-laws from Ohio or Michigan or Nebraska or Wisconsin about the South and about the SEC. These are one of the, this is just a few of the things that makes college football what it is throughout the history of college football. And I think that having that tribalism within regions of the country is a good thing. We started to see that facade cracking in 2011, 2012 with the first round uh, of everyone, uh, the realignment, the redistribution of college football power in, in a certain sense. But we're going to see a lot more of that now. So what is good for the SEC is adding Texas and Oklahoma. There is no doubting that. It is good for the bottom line. It's good for Greg Sankey and the SEC to have more power. I don't think that they're helping college football with this. I think because they're doing what is going to put them in a position to be the power in college football, what they are causing now is a chain reaction of self-preservation. We had the idea on day one, Hutton. You brought it up. Big 12, Pac-12, they need to merge now. They need to start talking about that. Well, guess what? They're doing There are reports out about them merging. They have Not to. good for college football. Good for self-preservation for those individual schools. What they need to do, not good for college football. I'll say this about Notre Dame. I like that they're independent. Why? I don't know because it's been that way for a long time. Why do we like a lot of things in sports? Because it's been that way for a long time. Because I can go back 25, 30 years and talk about Penn State football versus LSU football. They're in different parts of the country. They have different sensibilities. They're different schools. They're in different conferences. When you argue Texas, who's the real UT? Tennessee and Texas. You argue that from the standpoint of one is in the, in the power conference SEC, one's in the Big 12. Yes, one has more money. Yes, one has more national titles. But yet Tennessee's in the SEC. When you combine the two, it cheapens those debates that has fueled this sport for years and years. So the big question of, is the SEC saving or ruining college football? The SEC is capitalizing on an opportunity that's been created by outside forces from college football. The NCAA is dead. The Supreme Court said so. Name, image, likeness is in the sport now. That's caused a lot of uncertainty. When there's uncertainty, you can be defensive or you can go on offense. The SEC is always going to go on offense when things are uncertain. I understand that, and I think nine times out of ten, that's a good route to take. But when the SEC starts going on offense like they are now, and this isn't done, Tennessee head baseball coach Tony Vitello said as much yesterday, they're going to add, the SEC is going to add more. This isn't the end of mm -hmm. this. You're doing what's right for your bottom line and for your power. But when individual entities do these things, it's not necessarily good for the whole. And I don't think this overall is going to be good for the sport. Good for the SEC, not good for the overall sport. Is it ruining the sport? I don't think so. I don't want to speak in those grand terms of this is going to be the overall demise of college football. But one of the reasons that I love college football and so many others love it is for the history, is for the tradition. And part of that history and tradition is this sense of, of tribalism, of regionalism, that I think is about to be wiped clean from the sport. And it all started with this domino. Oklahoma and Texas, 
to the SEC. Big 12, Pac-12 merger is probably going to happen. Big 10, ACC going to look out for themselves. Some are going to jump on board the SEC. Others will jump on board the Big 10. And we're getting closer and closer to these conferences not mattering. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified every time Outkick 360 goes live. We are live weekdays, 11 a.m. Central, noon Eastern, right here across the Outkick network. And while you're at it, like this video and let us know what you think in the comments below.